Welcome to the October 22nd edition of the Muskie Daily. Tonight we'll be taking a look at how a student helped save a stranger's life. An Ohio man is in custody after holding firefighters hostage. And Students Against Animal, Suff animal Suffering is hosting a bake sale after uh, all that and more on tonight's episode of the Muskie Daily. Hello, and thanks for joining us. I'm Chad Holmes. And I am Andrew Dunlap. First up, Orbit Media News correspondent Marty Kurtz has more on two of New Concord's charities and how one came about with the help of the other. College at Presbyterian Church Food Pantry in New Concord has been going strong for 10 years. The last May, they decided to reach out more and start a program called Loads of Love. The College at Presbyterian Church, along with E&K Car Wash and Laundromat, teamed up to create a program that will give discounts to people who signed up. The church will sign people up for the first four Wednesdays of every month from 4.30 to 7.30. Certain laundry machines will be discounted. Reverend of the College Yard Presbyterian Church, Ann Wyrick, explains that Loads of Love allows church members to spend time with the families participating in the charity. The thing that has been so incredible to me about it is that we've really gotten to know each other. You know, when folks just come in and get their groceries, there's a chance to talk sometimes if it's not too busy. But most of the time, when you're sitting around waiting for your laundry, there's plenty of time to talk. So we share each other's stories, and what we've found is that there are other ways that we can be helpful. Stores throughout New Concord are adopting weeks to host the laundromat. For Orbit Media News, I'm Marty Kurtz. A Muskingum University student saved a stranger's life from acute limboplastic leukemia in Columbus. Senior Chase Myers signed up to donate stem cells last year, despite having a less than 1% chance of finding a match. But, uh, Meyer, uh, but over the summer, er, he, Meyer received a phone call confirming that he had a matched up with a man suffering from limboplastic leukemia in Columbus. I got a call in July telling me that I would matched. And there was just this realization over the summer that I just, I fought a lot with this idea that to me, the guy that I was donating to was just one in a million. He was another person. Um, but for him, I was his one chance of hope. I was his one chance of getting out of this. And so that meant a lot to me and so that I felt like I had to go through with it. Myers is expected to be contacted 45 days after the donation to receive an update on the patient's condition. Last month, there was a good neighbor meeting in New Concord to educate students about living off campus and how to keep their neighbors in mind. New Concord Village Administrator Charlotte Colley explains how students must learn to be courteous to their neighbors in New Concord. Even though they are a college student or a university student, that they are living in the community of New Concord and that they have neighbors who may not have the typical university hours. The Village Hall also The, vi the village all the village also ho hopes to continue the, ha the to host good neighbor meetings at, to educate students about well, living off campus uh, houses and keeping good relations with their neighbors. Muskingum held a homecoming bonfire yesterday. Students enjoyed snacks on the fire as they eagerly anticipated the announcement of the 2015 homecoming court. And Steele at, uh, was there, attended the festivities where she gave a speech saying, it is the very greatest privilege I've ever had to be president of Muskingum University. Coming up on the Muskie Daily, a situation breaks out when two firefighters are held hostage. And, and later, Google is offering a new feature while, while looking at multiple websites. You're tuned in to the Muskie Daily. This is Will Mullins, and I want to encourage you to watch Chapel on Orbit TV, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at 5 p.m. and 10 p.m. Thanks. Students 
Senate that could affect your campus organization by tuning into Orbit TV on Tuesdays at 11 in the evening and again on Wednesday through Sunday at 10 in the morning and 6 and 11 in the evening. An Ohio man is in custody after authorities say he held two firefighters hostage. The incident happened Wednesday night in South Am Amherst. Firefighters were called to Roy Griffith Jr.'s home to respond to reports of burning leaves. When they arrived, authorities say Griffith were threatened the uh, firefighters with a rifle and took them hostage. Police SWAT officers were go were able to get Griffith to surrender without an incident. Griffith faces charges of uh, kidnapping and felony assault. Sometimes you just want a little quiet, and now Google Chrome is helping out. The web browser just unveiled a new feature, the mute button. It lets you mute tabs with a simple right click. If you are watching a video in one tab and all of a sudden you hear music in another, you have open. You can click and it's silence. The muted tab appears with an icon in the shape of a crossed out speaker. Thousands of Connecticut inmates uh, may soon be able to take college courses in prison and for, for free. States, the state's largest public college system is asking the federal government to use taxpayer money to help convicts get college credit. Roger Su Susan has the details. If you try and walk a mile in the community college student's shoes, you might have a hard time keeping pace. They seem to have one thing in common hectic lives. I work two full-time jobs and I go to school full-time. I'm a construction wor um, worker and uh, I go to school and I really don't have much uh, time for anything else. But the students we spoke with have very different opinions about a new proposal from the Connecticut State Colleges and Universities system that would allow inmates at nine state prisons to take community college courses for free. Everybody makes mistakes, you know, and like I said, education is for everybody. They, everybody should have a fair um, everybody should just be able to have an education. I do think it's a good thing uh, for people to get a higher education. I don't personally feel as though I should be have another tax added on. CSCU leaders are asking the federal government to pay for the program. If the plan is approved, inmates would be able to enroll in job training courses and complete coursework on degree programs next fall. They have a problem funding people who want to go to college who have hard means, and yet we're going to fund people who got themselves in their own jams. Education is power and everybody has the right to education. CSCU President Marco Jakian made the proposal in a letter to the U.S. Department of Education. The State Department of Corrections has endorsed the idea. Now, federal legislators will decide whether Connecticut inmates can become community college students. It's pretty difficult, yeah, because you know, you have to come to school, but you also have a whole life outside of school. The federal government already ear, earmarks some uh, funding for pr prisoner coursework uh, the, through the pil pilot program, which Connecticut's government, uh, governor strongly supports. If approved, the prisoners will be given be uh, Pell grants, which don't have to be repent, uh, repaid. After the break, we will have weather heading into the weekend. Following up with that, after that, review some of some of the events that happened in sports this past week. So stay tuned. We have the music. We have the cameras. We have the talent. Orbit Media, where the magic happens. On the story, on the quad, on the scene, this is the Muskie Daily. For tonight's forecast, we'll be cloudy with a low of 44. And for tomorrow is 
predicted to be sunny with a high of 64. Tomorrow night will be partly cloudy with a low of 48. Now it's time to take a look at your extent forecast. And after that, stay tuned for the Musky Sports Update. Turning things over to sports action, the women's soccer team found no answer against Mount Union as they lost 4-0 uh, after fending off the Purple Raiders in the first half, only allowing one goal. They came back in the second half, scoring three goals on, on the Lady Muskies. The girls could not get anything started on offense as they were kept from getting most shots off. 36 shots came from Mount Union. Liz Mitchell was able to get a career high in saves with 36 for the Muskies. With the loss, they stand at 2-12-1 on the season, with the next game coming Saturday against Otterbein at 7. WMCO will have pregame shows starting at 6.30. The men's team picked up their first OAC win in exciting fashion Tuesday night, defeating Mount Union 2-1 in double overtime in Muskie territory. The game winner came by way of Chase Michael Hillard in the 102nd minute uh, off uh, of the match when he chipped, chipped over the pur Purple Raider keeper for the goal. With the win, the Muskies improved to 4-11 overall on the year and 1-5 in the conference. The men will be back in action on Saturday when they travel to Ada for a date with Ohio Northern. Game time is slated for a 7. That is all the time we have for sports. Up next, we're... We learn about the homecoming tailgate hosted by the Be Business Club and other events going on around New Concord. We have the music. We have the cameras. We have the talent. Orbit Media, where the magic happens. On the story. On the quad, on the scene, this is the Muskie Daily. Byside and the Business Club are hosting a tailgate cookout for homecoming right after the parade in the Memmore parking lot. There will be food and free t-shirts will be handed out. There was 27. On Tuesday, October 27th, there will be a DIY apple bar during common hour in TOC. Everyone is welcome, but female independents are encouraged to check it out. So, supplies are limited. It's a big concert here at Muskingum, and students are encouraged to be part of the committee to help decide the details. There will be an information session on Mon Monday, October 26th in the TOC, or Wednesday at 5, October 28th at Chess 307. Anyone interested can apply on OrgSync by November 4th. If anyone has questions, they can contact Ashley Wally. That's all for the October 22nd edition of the Muskie Daily. To stay up to date on the local news, read tomorrow's copy of the Black and Magenta. You can also keep up to date by visiting orbitmediaonline.com. Stay tuned to the end of the show because we have your homecoming event schedule coming up next. Good night, New Concord.